Hello, Divorcing Gracefully and Beyond sisters. Welcome to another show. And today we have our lovely guest, Renee, right? Renee coming from Tennessee, beautiful yeah. Tennessee. Can't wait to speak with you. For those of you who are new to Divorcing Gracefully and Beyond, my name is Donna Rudowitz, and I'm a rapid transformational uh, relationship coach as well as a psychotherapist. And the work we do at Divorcing Gracefully and Beyond is we draw the line in the sand because up until this point, our life has led us here. There's no right, there's no wrong, there's no bad, there's no good. But we do get to a point one day that we say, wow, I keep attracting people in my life that may I may not want to be attracting. Or these patterns, these beliefs, and these behaviors that have been embedded in my system for so long aren't serving me. And we're not willing to take a chance to risk that our, that our, we have to do our life. We know we're important. So we're drawing the line in the sand to say, okay, I'm going to do the work on myself, fall in love with myself, because I know when I'm operating at the highest level of my vibrational frequency inside, on the outside, it will correlate, right, Renee? And that's, that's the, all the work is about learning to love ourselves first. So Renee is a graduate of the Divorcing Gracefully and Beyond community. You went through the main program and now are part of our alumni sisterhood. Yes. And you've been an alumni. What? When did you start DGB, if I remember? Um, it was around October of 2019, and I completed in February. February. Uh, so that was, we were together COVID time, right? During that yeah. time of lockdown and stuff. And mm -hmm. we had a lot, of, I remember you were buying your home at that time, and there was a couple of shifts that were going on, right? Well, why don't you introduce yourself so people know who you are, and I'll and then I'll take it over once you're complete. Well, um, I, um, I am a 50 six-year-old woman who has been divorced for almost three years. Um, I found this program on Facebook, just synchronicities, yeah. right? Because there are no coincidences. Renee and I have been, if obviously you don't know, Renee and I have back conversations, but we do like, you don't know what those are, but we've yes. had many conversations. Yes. It was a yes. completely synchronistic moment. There it, was it, no chance involved. It was. And at that point, point in time, I had um, just moved to Nash the Nashville area, starting a new position with work. It's the same company, yep. um, trying to decide what I wanted to do um, as far as where I wanted to be in the Nashville area. Um, during the time I was going through our program, I found my home. It's a wonderful place just north of the city, and it's just a restful place. I actually called it Everest because it is just this it's in the country in the woods and you would never know that Nashville is a 20 minute drive away. It's just beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous. And you know what it, br it brings me, as you said it, when you said ever rest, it's mm -hmm. not only physically resting, it's soul mm -hmm. resting, mm -hmm. right? It's a place where you, you, you're just there. And like you said, you would never know mm -hmm. 20 minutes away. You have a bustling town. And I'm telling you in our program, when we talk about the law of attraction and manifesting, I would just have, I, I had such a change in mindset and how I looked at things and the things that I knew that I wanted yep. for my future. And I'm telling you, it was a manifestation. It, it just was 100%. amazing. I did not get the home right away, but a week later, the first people who got the house, their financing fell through. Of and course I it did, because that's how it works at DGB, right? Everything yeah. always works out for us. And and I remember that time because I remember you saying that you found this house. It was perfect. It was everything that you wanted. And mm -hmm. then in the next conversation, there was a little bit of disappointment or a little bit of, oh my gosh, like it didn't quite, it didn't go through, but you mm -hmm. kept focused. You didn't allow that to be the identity or you didn't allow that to be the fact. You, you, you had said, and you and I came into agreement, this is bring the divine house to you. Mm -hmm. This one that you are living in now, right? You had, okay, I would love, this is my divine house. Should that be it? But mm -hmm this for something better. Do you remember? We're like, we're going to do this for something better. And then as it turned out, those people, it didn't work out and you got the home and it turned out even better than you could have anticipated. It was amazing because I just let it go. I said, well, it's not meant for me. You yep. know, because I didn't get it. But a week later, boom, I'm telling you, I was texted at 1 yes. 11 p.m. Mm. at the house. I love it. The angel numbers, the 111s. Yes. 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 That, that just did it for me. And, um, yep. It's, it's, it's been a journey. I have to <laughs> recalibrate and make sure that, you know, my mindset is positive because there are so many things to do with a renovation, a lot of um, 
Just well, you're doing two things, right? You're doing the renovation of a home, but the renovation of a heart. Because when you were coming through DGB, it was the renovation of ourself, right. right? We are our own best DIY project, to tell you the truth, right? And I think, you know, we have our mindset, and tell me if you agree with this, Renee, is that we're not broken, right? And we're not our divorce. Our divorce mm -hmm. isn't our identity. Right. What we are is smart, intelligent, beautiful women who have come across a path in our life that no longer serves us. And right. we could, the more we, we resist that or wish it were something different mm -hmm. is the more suffering that we go into. Right. right. Versus the acknowledgement and the alignment and not saying that we want it or we like it, but then mm -hmm. now then we get resourceful to what is it that I can do to change it? Exactly. And, mm -hmm. and not to say that, you know, even after the program that I don't have, you know, wobbles, so to speak, that's yep. one term we like to use for, you know, sliding back into old habits. Um, I, I know now that I have these coping skills to help me move through those periods. I don't have the anxiety like I used to because I know that anxiety is my body's way of telling me that, okay, we need to rethink this. What's, what's the cause of it? Let's work through that anxiety. And I- It's a messenger, right? And I don't know for everybody who's listening, I, you know, just to- and I want to recap and just repeat that language, Renee, that you used mm -hmm. is that mm -hmm. it's my, you, you know, it's when I'm getting the feelings of anxiety, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, it's me, it's giving me the opportunity to determine what, what's really going on It's because mm -hmm. the messengers, what is it? Is this something that I need to pay attention to? Is this something that I need to take action on? Is this something mm -hmm. I need to maybe just sit and yeah. contemplate on, right? Because we're no longer the victim to effect where our emotions are coming in and saying, we have to take care of it. We have to have an understanding. We need to do this. It's like all over the place where we're just like, wait a minute. I see this is going on, mm -hmm. but I'm going to put a pleasant pause. Remember how Katie was saying, I don't know if you, we, we, we did you, were you coached by Katie when she was in the program? Yeah. I can't remember. Katie, right? Katie, Katie came in after, yeah. but we talk about putting the pleasant pause in mm -hmm. and then having that space to be able to make a determination of what our next action is. And mm -hmm. see, to me, I know for sure that if, if we're lucky enough, right, if we're blessed enough mm -hmm. to live this life, we are going to have challenges, Definitely, right? There's, there's, that's just part of the game. Mm -hmm. But what brings me peace and joy is that no matter what comes my way, we can handle, right? Because yeah. we have the tools and the resources now and we're no longer sort of mm -hmm. having <laughs> reacting, right? We're no longer having to be on the opposite side of the coin. We actually get to say, okay, I'm not, again, I'm not ignoring it. I'm not denying it, mm -hmm. but I'm going to tell you where to go now, emotion versus mm -hmm. you telling me where to go. Right. And tell me your experience with that. Like, you know, kind of when you think about pre-DGB, post-DGB, because like you said, even when you graduate the program, it doesn't mean our problems go away. Sometimes right. problems even get deeper. They may mm -hmm. be larger, but it's mm -hmm. the way we respond to them. It's the way we handle them. It's the way we manage through. And so I like to kind of think about it like if I'm having a birthday cake for my daughter, mm -hmm. right, and I could just go get a pie cutter or a knife and I could cut a cake. I'm not worried. And it cuts through, right? It's just because I know the right tool. It's the same thing, right? We know what tool we need to use and it just cuts through the problem. How has mm -hmm. that made you, like, what has that done for you? Or how has that shifted your life? Or how have you used those tools and to really project yourself to where you are right now? Well, in the past, I would do a lot of ruminating over problems. Oh my gosh. Right. I'm, yes. a, I'm, a, I'm a recovering ruminator. Yes. 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 Yep. So I, I have to, again, I have to take that pause and think, wait, this is not the right mindset you need to be in because it's, you're pushing against it. You're working against what, you know, you can manifest the things that you can um, align in your positive mindset. Yeah. You know, and so, is it safe to say too, Renee, with the ruminating thoughts, mm -hmm. they're usually not positive or healthy thoughts. No. They're usually the thoughts that are the negative, I right? Or that, the oh my gosh, what will I do? And it's it is taking control of that and saying, you know, I have a, a, a way to react to these things, well, not react, but to act on these things that I'm, that I'm going to set the course to where it's more of a positive outcome in thinking that I am worthy. I am confident. I yes. Hard yes. yes. And I love that you say that because it's, mm -hmm. I get to set my course. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Like I get to set my course because in the mm -hmm. past life set the course 
And then we were reactionary to that course. Right. Where mm -hmm. now we set the course and life is reactionary to our action. Mm -hmm. Exactly. How amazing is that? It is. And and again, like I say, and give me I one have second. to stop and think. Hold on one second. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. So what were you saying? What were you saying? Like Casey. <laughs> yes, Casey is wanting to come in, but not today. <laughs> But, but one thing that I do is, you know, I still, I still connect with the DG sisters, uh, the alumni inner circle connect with them on Facebook because they help bolster me and support me still in the things that I see, um, you know, the, the positive affirmations, the things that, that tell me, okay, I needed to see this today because, yep. you know, I was going in the wrong direction or yep. I'm going back over modules, listening to, I love to hear Abraham Hicks. Oh my okay. gosh. Right. And listening yeah. to those. And I love that you said that. Cause I think this is an important piece of the puzzle mm -hmm. for those of you who aren't familiar divorce and gracefully and beyond, just so you know, so you could have a framework of what Renee are talking about is it's mm -hmm. a, it's, it's a rapid transformational coaching program. So the main program runs a little over 12 weeks where there's a combination of group Q and a there's individual coaching, and then there's curriculum, mm -hmm. right. That one follows, but really it's a sisterhood for life because even post-graduation, we move over to the alumni group and we continue because the mindset and the thinking one I forgot who said this many people probably said this but they said you are the five people you hang around most mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and it's 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 be very careful of who you're spending your time with right. because you will absorb those patterns those beliefs and those behaviors mm -hmm. right Definitely. you will absorb those and so once you go through the main program at DGB mm -hmm. you we have now we have a completely different internal mindset we have a different language. We have a different way that we do things because if the world would see things without having the knowledge or the training, they would think it was batshit crazy what we do. <laughs> They'd be like, are they off their meds? Like, what's going on, right? But when we do it here at DGB, we, we have a system and a process that we follow mm -hmm. and a framework that we could depend upon, right? Mm -hmm. Time in and time out and it works. And so having a community of other women who are like you, what mm -hmm. I'd like to say, we are the best community mm -hmm. on the planet because we truly are. We, yeah. you, you put in something in that alumni group or even if you're currently in the program in the inner circle, you are gonna get support and, and you're going to get connection and it mm -hmm. keeps you moving forward, right? Mm -hmm. It keeps you moving. And, and that's such a big piece of the puzzle not to go through this alone. Exactly. I mean, yep. I had been doing some groundwork before I met your program and, yep. and got involved, but just doing the journaling and some of the self-work, um, it was great for me, but this was the added piece I needed. You know, yes. I needed those group calls. I needed those individual calls and just bouncing off each other and supporting each other for what. Yeah, and Nancy's here with us, says Nancy oh. Azellos. Hi, Nancy. She's saying looking and sounding good. So Nancy is also a DGB sister in the alumni group. Nancy, I'm loving your pictures on Facebook, by the way, loving mm -hmm. them, all the gorgeous photos of being outside. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and going back to what you said, Renee, that is the important part. So traditionally, I was a psychotherapist, right? That's mm -hmm. how I started my practice is I was working one to one with people. Mm -hmm. And when this data came out, that it no longer was about the one to one, again, in this area, there may be other areas where one to one still is the most appropriate tool. Mm -hmm. But in this area, post divorce, in this area, creating our heart, creating our life forward, what the data was showing, it was the one to one was wasn't the best tool. Mm -hmm. The community was right. Right. Having having that that sisterhood in that group doesn't mean that we still don't have or need one to ones, which we have. But it really is. We cannot see the label from our own jar. Mm -hmm. Right. And when you see another sister going through something and you see them move through that challenge, you're like, oh, my God, I, if she could do it, so could I. Right. Well, I, I didn't even know that was available because mm -hmm. a rising tide lifts all ships. Exactly. And I happened to, right? And, and I happened to stumble onto a forum recently because mm -hmm. I, 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 don't, I don't go to forums anymore because it's the energy just isn't there. The, the mm -hmm. most of the, the conversations are surrounded around the problem or the issue and just creating more of it. So, mm -hmm. you know what we say save the drama for the llama, right? We, we are non drama here at TGB. And, and I want to just put it out there. Mm -hmm. If anyone is part of a forum and you're finding it helpful for you, like continue to do it. I'm not, I'm not saying anything negative about forums, mm -hmm. but what I realized when I was in those forums, I just happened to stumble upon it 
was just how fast your energy and your mindset could go sour. Right. And we have to be the ones to guard that mindset and mm -hmm. guard that energy like we're guarding our life and our soul because we are. Yes. I I'm going to tell you that the positive that be begets the positive, negative begets negative. Dealing with this in, in work too, I as a manager had to help our therapists deal with some negativity they were working with in the schools. Um, I'm yep. a speech therapist, just FYI, I didn't tell you that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I help manage other speech yep. that was working mm -hmm. with kids in the schools. So one thing that I helped create was how to build rapport, how to be a positive influence and um, be professional at the same time. So the whole point, and I just did training too, is, is a lot of the things I learned in DG is because, you know, if I can help our therapists have that positive mindset and go into it, I'm here to help the kids. When I have this challenge, these are the ways I can, you know, get through it. And so yeah. it's, it's just, I, I use all these principles throughout my life. And right. And with our kids, with yeah. our loved ones, with our families, yes. with, I mean, it, it really integrates. I mean, I know what we teach here really is about our, mm -hmm. our, our life and our soul, because that's the most important part mm -hmm. because many mm -hmm. of us are for also former people pleasers where mm -hmm. most, many of our lives were to help others. Yes, mm -hmm. we do. Right. Where mm -hmm. we helped others. And what we realize is we could still love people and we could be kind to ourselves. Right. right. That we don't need to throw ourselves under the bus or abandon ourselves in mm -hmm. order to really still have an impact in other people's lives. Mm -hmm. Because when we abandon ourselves, what will end up happening is we will likely attract partners who abandon us. Right. Right. Which we don't want. No, no. Right. But like you said, it all goes back. It all does go back to the mindset and using the skills on a daily basis because mm -hmm. you, I remember years back, I, it, it, I mean, this is years and years ago, I had taken a Kung Fu class. This is, I, I was, I began a, taking Kung Fu journey and it was martial arts and I loved it. Yeah. And the, I w it was Wing Chun. That's what it was. And it was, it was basically developed by a Chinese nun and her mm -hmm. philosophy was she wanted to be able to defend herself regardless mm -hmm. of her size, right? Or, or her opponent's size. And her mind and her saying always was, if I can beat your body, I'll beat you half the time. If I could control your mind, I'll beat you all the time. Oh, wow. Right. Thanks. And, and so one of the, you know, one of those things is we are in this journey and this area that we, we call life. Mm -hmm. There are going to be times where it's going to be a battlefield. Mm -hmm. And if we could control the mind, right. Manage the mind, manage the thoughts, manage where it goes. Mm -hmm. We have 100% success rate. If we don't, if we allow the body to take over and manage, some will win, some will lose. I don't like I don't like odds of some will sometimes. It's like gambling. I like 100% odds. <laughs> I don't know about you. Yes. <laughs> right. Yes. So it's it's a matter of again, like I said, just you know, sticking with what that positive mindset is and what you want for yourself, and and the mind really does control how the body. Yep response mm -hmm. so um so if you have that ability to control using all these coping techniques and all the yep. things that we work through your body is going to respond to it you know i i it's, it's the whole anxiety stuff that i talked about earlier i those are pretty much eliminated now so, so. renee if we look back at your journey right mm -hmm. from when you started to where you are now and even if we mm -hmm. go back to the beginning journey because many of the women who are listening to this are either just beginning their journey, right? Or maybe they've been divorced for a while. Maybe if you're like Renee and myself, you're smart, you're intelligent, you're successful, you've got most of your life together. It's just this personal side you haven't been able to move the needle on. And you may even be moving into a sense of like frustration because you, you're badass at work. You can handle everything at work. Like, why can't I get my personal life set? Like, what is it that that's going? So if we're thinking about that, that mindset of where she is at that time, mm -hmm. what one, I want to hear what you would say to her. But before we even go to that, what do you think was the top one, two or three things that you learned in DGB um, that really have sit, are sitting in your soul at this point to say, wow, like this is this has changed my life. It ha um, it's it's the 
the things that stick with me the most and that I have continued with yep. are taking the time for myself, taking like in the morning I get up, yep. I do my meditation. It helps set my day. I do you build habits and rituals, right? So yep. that's what Renee yep. is talking about is building mm -hmm. habits and rituals that are for us. Right. That aren't for our children, that aren't for our jobs, that aren't for our pets, that aren't for our loved ones. Mm -hmm. We're building habits and rituals that serve us. Right. Yep. Taking taking the time to have me time yes. and, and and do for you because being a people pleaser, you know, I want to give and give and give, and it does it depletes me. So I have to renew yep. renew myself. Um, another thing that um, I recall is you know talking about removing those who don't serve you in your yep. life and, and, and people who make you feel bad about yourself or that you just don't feel good being around. It's okay to say, I, I can't be around those people anymore. And I have right. done that quite a bit. Um, yep. And it's cleaning of the house, right? It's choosing your bus. Like if you think about, we all have a bus, you don't necessarily have to go up to that person and say, Hey, listen, I'm not going to be your friend or I'm not going to call you anymore. What you're just choosing to do is spend less time with that person. Right, and more right. time with people that really lift you up and support you definitely mm -hmm. um some other things of course again the positive mindset changing the way you yep. think about things and the way you um move forward again positive affirmations manifesting the things that you want in life um and again i was just listening to abraham hicks earlier and yep. he was just talking yep. about you know aligning yourself um, being in the vortex and all that. I so love I, it. And all, everything still, that you just mentioned, by the way, Renee, mm -hmm. everything you just mentioned about creating the habits and rituals that support you mm -hmm. to being very mindful of who we're spending our time with and who yes. we're contributing to. Right. And then lastly, mm -hmm. the, the mindset piece about being on the positive frame versus the toxic frame, because we have a tool that again is like a hammer. It's like a saw. It's like it, it, we could use it with accuracy, mm -hmm. which is we identify which are feelings and which are facts. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And right? I, because in and the I, past, right. was well, feeling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, for sure. I, I can, you know, go back into the way I was in the past with those feelings about myself and feeling unworthy and that I don't, yep. you know, I, I can't be, what I want to be. And, and I have to say, stop. No, that is yep. not right. And, and realign, say, move forward. Negative begets negative. We're going to be, have, we're going to have those positive yep. thoughts. Move forward. And I think that is so incredibly important. I just have to stay here for a moment mm -hmm. because if you're listening to this and, mm -hmm. and I have seen in my experience, because again, Renee, you see this too. Mm -hmm. We have women in divorcing gracefully and beyond that are some of the most loving and successful and women who are changing this world, right? Mm -hmm. Like from all different levels, teachers, nurses, surgeons, you know, board of directors, running their own companies, having teams that, you know, so we, we're on all levels. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that many of us have in common is a little bit of a fraud factor, I would say, where on, on the business side, we could show up and we could do work and we could get it done. And again, doesn't mean that we don't need refinement because maybe we allow our coworkers to maybe, <laughs> you know, maybe we need to set up some boundaries and be a little stronger there. But for the most part, that that side is taken care of. But on the personal side, we're struggling with our value. We're struggling with our worth. We're struggling with believing, will, I, will this ever work for me? Will I ever really be able to find love again? Right. And what we realize quite quickly mm -hmm. in divorce and briefly and beyond is the most important love story is our own. Right. Right. That we have, have to, to love be yourself. our own. We've got to love ourselves and be open up. Right. Be open up because we, we do want to have a relationship with someone when the time is right. Right. But mm -hmm. I think that's such, it's such an important part of what you're saying is it's okay if you're badass at work, but this personal side, you can't move the needle on because you're not broke. It's not that you're not smart. It's not that you can't have it. It's just a different tool. We can't use the same tools that got us success in work over here. It's, it's a completely different set of tools. Right. Yes. And to keep and when going. You love yourself, yeah. Yeah. When you love yeah. yourself, you are more um, apt to say, I know who I'm looking for in that you know, mate or friends, it, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be someone, you know, that you fall in love with, yep. but just knowing that 
if I can do the things with this person and not give up myself and the things that I've learned about loving myself, then that's something that, you know, is a positive effect that you can, you can work with that person. You can be with that person. Tell me if you feel the same way I do is, is it's yes. Having a relationship with another person, of course, is an important piece of the puzzle, but I think what Mm -hmm. a deeper piece of the puzzle is, is that we get to live life, really live life and enjoy every moment in every relationship that we have. It's deeper. Yeah. It's like, it just, I don't know how to explain it, right? The, gra- the grass is just greener. The smells just smell different. The connections mm-hmm. with people just feel different. And we're no longer bogged down with the BS of exactly. those ruminating thoughts. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean mm-hmm. we don't get ruminating thoughts, though, but those ruminating thoughts will come in. We could shift them right away. And our refractory mm-hmm. period is like that. And we move on and it's handled. Right. And you can see those people, you know, this is what I've found. I know those people that I connect with, those kindred spirits that we seem to be on that same. Yes. Yes. Line. We're the same soul journey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yes. And those are the people that I've been looking for. I have a small circle right now, but it just started to expand. So. Me too. I love my circle because my mm-hmm. circle is strong. It's my ride or die, right? It's people who I know that I could depend upon. They could depend upon me. And mm-hmm. am I the friend that will text every day? No. Am I the friend that will, <laughs> you know, be like doing stuff every day with them? No. But 10 minutes, they need me. I, you know, I'm in the car. I think this one woman, who she was hilarious. She said something very similar on a TikTok. She was like, okay, I'm not the friend that's going to text you every day. I'm not the friend that's going to be over your house every day. But if you need me in 10 minutes, I've got the car started. I've got the shovel in the back seat, and I'm ready to roll. <laughs> right. I was like, <laughs> but I love, I just love the fact that we, we do get to have this life now. Right. Yeah. And so what, what guidance could you give to someone who's listening to this, right? The back to when you first started DGB and, and mm-hmm. the, re- the remembering and the feeling like, of, oh my God, I don't know if this is possible for me. Or like, I, I don't even know, like these thoughts, I I've been living with these thoughts ruminating for X amount of years. I don't even know what it's like not to have them. So what guidance would you give her? I think that just knowing that there's more to life than what you are living right now, that there is. Yes. That is a mic drop (laughs) moment. Yes. Yes. You don't know until you know, and you can, you can live in the past, but this gives you license to live your life to the fullest. Your life is not done. You have so much more that you don't know about. And and I'm I mean, still discovering that every yes. day. Yes. It's like a mm-hmm. huge, it's, 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 there's so much. And I'd love to, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm going to say this again. There's more to life than you're living right now, mm-hmm. right? You, you could live in your past if you choose mm-hmm. to, we're not, you know, we love you anyway. Right. But mm-hmm. why, why live a fraction mm-hmm. when you have an entire ocean? Right. Right. And I think, I think this is something that the what Esther and Jerry Hicks and, and that whole law of attraction, the vortex, what they talk about is so many of us will go to the ocean with just a thimble, right? And we'll just take our little bit of water and 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 we go home right? and, and, and until the next, when we need it next. Some of us have to keep going into that ocean days, you know, all day long and weeks and months and years at a time where mm-hmm. others will come up to that ocean with a bucket mm-hmm. and they'll grab the bucket. Others mm-hmm. come up to that ocean with a, truck right and they're they're filling the back of the truck right. and the smart of us right the 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 ones who have crossed the bridge and are on the other side realize wait a minute oh i'm going to attach a spigot that's all i need and i could it's a never ending flow because it doesn't stop and this Don't is yourself you that's- there's no limits and mm-hmm. and the only reason why what you have is not mm-hmm. in, in front of you is not showing up the way that you want it to mm-hmm. is because when we are in fight or flight in our brain or we mm-hmm. haven't stepped into an energetic vortex with other people right mm-hmm. they're going to be lifting us up we are literally and this has been science this is not donna just saying this or throwing a noodle against the wall mm-hmm. science has shown us that we pinch ourselves off we pinch ourselves off from divine connection. We pinch ourselves off from possibility. And you, you've you heard me say this in the program many a times. We cannot paint the house while the porch is on fire. <laughs> not going to happen. You could try right. as many times as you want. Right. It's not going to happen. Yeah. And, and knowing that you're still going to have challenges, you have to go through those challenges to help you grow, to help you understand how can I cope and work through 
what is going on right now. Yeah. So it just helps you grow as a person. Yes, because so. now we look at challenges. It's like, thank, I actually celebrate challenges now because mm -hmm. it means I'm reaching an upper limit in my life and yeah. the challenges is coming. I have the choice. Do I want to move through this upper limit or do I mm -hmm. want to see where I'm at? Right. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to move through the upper limit, thank God this challenge came to me mm -hmm. because it's going to help me move to the upper limit. So wow. we get excited about challenges now because we realize it's 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 a it's a stumbling. It's not a stumbling block. It's a stepping stone. It's, like, it's, hold it's my a redirection. Latte. Hold my latte. You know? Exactly. Hold my latte. I'm coming back. I'm going. I'm going where I'm going. Right. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and something to think about is that it's so easy to go back to patterning or to go to the feelings of, I can't do this and give up. Right. Mm -hmm. And I want to acknowledge that in everybody because we all will feel that. Mm -hmm. And there are many times I wanted to give up. I don't know about you, but there were many days I was like, I, and not that I wanted to end my life or anything. I mean, give up in my dreams and my goals. Right. I just wanted to be like, I am, I don't know if this is possible for me and I'm just gonna, mm -hmm. I don't know. Is life giving me a, 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 this block because I'm not ready Right. Do I need to go a different path? You know, think of the things that, you know, what the universe can open up for you. So it, it, it just because you're getting a block right now doesn't mean that you're not going to achieve what you want. It right. just that block a different direction. And that block is also mm -hmm. massaging you, right, mm -hmm. to entice you to make to take action. Right. Yes. Action always so. reduces anxiety. So mm -hmm. many of us, or I, I would say in the past, you know, not us DGB sisters, but many times in the past, people tend to give up right before their breakthrough. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, three feet before goals. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and, and just going back to this is why divorcing gracefully and beyond is such mm -hmm. an important part of our lives. And this journey of where we're at is because mm -hmm. even when we want to give up, there's a there's there's women that are right alongside of you that are like, nope, <laughs> we're going to carry you until you could get strength in your own. Right. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to, we're not asking the reasons why there's no explanation needed. We love you just as you are, but mm -hmm. we're, we're going to carry you. Right. Because you need, and it's, I think too, it's, it takes a village. Our mindset is like a village and mm -hmm. this is work in this part. Again, many other parts are different, but in mm -hmm. this part, we need that, right. Mm -hmm. That, that right. tap. So um, Ellen, hi, Ellen. She's here. Ellen, or is that Eli Alicia or Elijah? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But thank you so much. Um, what would you say? What is something that you could say to before we close that, you know, if, if again, that we're scrolling, you know, we're, we're just listening. What's one last piece that you'd like to share with us that you think could be helpful? Definitely. If you are struggling, if you are trying to figure out how you can make your life better, you, you've gone through a massive shift in, in what your life was like and what it, you're, you're trying to decide what you can do now. This program just really changed my life. It was mm. such an eye opener to, to things are limitless. Yes. Things that you can do in yes. your life and in yes. for the better, because I, I mean, I have people come up to me that knew me now and they say, you're glowing. You, you know, you're, I can just see that you are so happy. And it, it just has been a shift for me. Mm, I love it. I know I do too, because you literally, you're still the same woman, meaning you're still beautiful Renee, but mm -hmm. internally you are reconnected mm -hmm. right to source, to your soul, to, to, yeah. to, to, to love. And that, 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 like you said, begets this new, and, and people will feel it and they see it in you. Mm -hmm. And that's my honor to get to see that happen because it's almost as if we're never, the way that I kind of thinking about it in my mind is if you think about a lamp, right? That, that has a plug that has to be plugged into the wall, right? The, the lamp may be unplugged, right? Mm -hmm. But it still has the energy. It's not, it's not like it's not there. It still has the bulb. It still has all the makings. And then when it's plugged in, it activates and the light right. goes on. And right. I think divorce and separation and even whether it's the beginning, middle or end, it, it, it's irrelevant, mm -hmm. could sometimes cause us to unplug. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Definitely. It's never, we're never, it's never away from us, but we're unplugged. And through this work at DGB, it's, it's, it's a very active, but yet beautiful and soft way to plug back in. Definitely. Definitely. And to see where you are now and just yeah. just where you were then to where you are now. I mean, 
and still, I mean, I still work every day, but I'm in such a better place and I'm still trying to reach those heights. Yes. I, I'm so grateful that for this program and I'm so thankful for you. And, and I Thank just you. Can't, can't say that enough. Thank you because, and that's what I love to see. I love to see you get where you're at one part of your life. We reach a summit. Mm -hmm. We can spend a little time there and, and recalibrate. Okay. Where are we on this summit? And mm -hmm. then out of nowhere, there's another summit that shows itself through the clouds. And you had no idea it was even there. Mm -hmm. And now you're like, oh, I can reach that summit, right? And, yeah. it, and this is the journey that we get to do. And on each summit, on each journey, on each level, the challenges we absorb and we love, mm -hmm. right? The easy flow we absorb and we love because mm -hmm. we're not making a meaning about it. It's just part of the journey. Mm -hmm. But we're no longer stunk, stu stuck, right? For days, wow. weeks, months at a time. It's just mm -hmm. moments. And so... Congratulations, my friend. I just love to see it. And I also want to acknowledge, and this is what Renee and I were talking about before we went live, is Renee's dedication to herself to divorcing gracefully and beyond because your schedule is crazy. You're starting school again, right? Work is busy. Life is busy. Home is busy. And for you to go back to that whole concept of I am going to create habits and rituals that really support me and that are going to drive me forward. And thank you so much for taking the time today. Yeah. And, and re recalibrating, reigniting and being here because you're if you're wondering what's possible for you, just look at Renee. Right. If she could do mm -hmm. it, so could you. If I could do it, so could you. There's no magic sauce here at Divorce and Grace William Beyond. The yeah. what I would say, if the, if you ever want to say that what the magic weapon or 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 tool would be, it's decisiveness. Mm -hmm. Right. Because this is something that I see every single day. And I have no, again, there's no blame or shame or condemnation on anyone. But I see every single day where women will allow the fear to keep them stuck. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Even though we're getting splinters by sitting on the fence. Mm. Right? Even though, And those splinters hurt. Mm-hmm. Right. And it's kind of like if you're if, if you're on one side of the road or you're the other side of the road, that those are very strong position points to hold. But mm -hmm. when you're in the middle of the road, again, it sucks because you're getting run over. Right. And so what happens is we we tend to take for granted this concept of time, even though we have plenty of time to be living our life and there's beautiful things ahead. When you sit in indecisiveness, the days turn into weeks, the weeks turn into months, the months turns into years, and years turns into decades. Mm -hmm. And there's only one one life here, right? I, I believe, and, I, and again, I don't know what other people believe, but I do believe that we, we, we do come here and we experience what we're meant to learn and it's mm -hmm. part of our soul journey. But in this body, this is it. Like we're never gonna come back in this body again. <laughs> and I don't wanna relearn the lessons. Like I wanna be done with these lessons and I wanna move on, like you said, to different summits. So if there's one thing that I can impart upon you if you're listening to this. Now, if, like Renee said, divorcing gracefully and beyond is the most amazing container that I know to be available to this day for what, for this area, right? Is because we have the community, we have the coaching, we have the curriculum, and we can absolutely get you from one side of the bridge to the other. Mm -hmm. But should DGB not be your place or you're not ready for DGB, take decisive action to do something, yes. right? Just, just even if you say, I'm not even sure what I'm going to do, but today I'm going to get off the fence. Mm -hmm. Today I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm done getting splinters and I'm open for God, universe source to guide me to what's the best for me. Mm -hmm. Because that's, that is the secret sauce, the decisiveness factor. We've got to make a decision to say that I am worthy just because I'm worthy. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't believe it, knowing that if you are here and you are alive, you are six feet above ground. It means that you are not done with this life yet. There are people who need you there. Mm -hmm. Your family needs you. And this is your opportunity to take what has been driving you, whether that be the emotional pain or the or the thoughts of the past or the ruminating thoughts and say, you know what? I'm done with this. Mm -hmm. And the word that yeah. comes to mind to me mm -hmm. is enlightenment. I've just uh -huh. yep. enlightened. I have become just over the past couple of years it's it's a totally it's a game changer for me yep I and I love that word because I could honestly tell you I know mm -hmm. exactly what you mean because mm -hmm. we I and I'm, I it's just like this it's this direct connection to source we're enlightened like the, we're, we're we learn how to 
hear our thoughts. We learn how to disseminate those. We learn how to take action and we don't need anything from the outside. Mm -hmm. Right. It's this, this, but I almost think it's like this whole new treasure chest is unlocked mm -hmm. that we didn't have the code to before. Right. 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 And it's, and it's unlimited. <laughs> There's nothing you can't achieve. And that's another thing that I want to leave here with everybody. There is nothing you cannot have. You cannot do, you cannot achieve, you cannot become. The only thing that will stop you from doing it or having it is yourself. Mm -hmm. And that is coming from a loving place. It's not coming from any other place than that, because that is the God's honest truth. If you believe you can, you can. If you believe you can't, you can't. If yeah. you believe there are resources out you out there and that there's a possibility that this, this could change for you, then you're going to miraculously find them, right? Most women who come to DGB, some women barely are on social media and they say to me, I don't even know how I found you, Donna. Somehow I stumbled across you, right? That was they, yeah, yeah, like it just popped out of nowhere. And that's what happens is all of a sudden the enlightenment, like it just comes in. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would say. Take action. Know that you're worth more than living in a suffering state, right? You, There's more to life than you're living right now, which is beautiful. <laughs> exactly what you said. And so what I'm going to do is if you feel divorcing gracefully and beyond could possibly be your place, right below this video, I'm going to be putting in my link to book your breakthrough to life and love call with me. I'm also going to be putting in my masterclass because my suggestion, watch the masterclass. That may give you exactly what you need in order to get you to the direction you need to go. So watch that first. There's no charge other than your time. It's about 40 minutes or something. And if you feel like you're really connected and you're ready to do the work, then book a breakthrough call with me. That's you and I getting on the phone. And I will tell you, if I could help you, I'll let you know. And if I feel there's a different resource, I'll let you know too. Mm -hmm. Right? And so, but take action, do something. So what would you like to put on the table for yourself this year? What, what action would you like to say? Next year, we're talking. What, Donna, I'm so happy and grateful now that I have. What would it be for you? You know, just enjoying life. Um, I've got a wonderful home. I have a job that I really enjoy. My daughter's getting married next year. So yes, that's so exciting, excited celebration things. And it, the celebration can be just going for a walk in the woods. It could yep. be kayaking. These are all things I love to do around here. Yep. But, you know, just knowing that you can enjoy your life with the people that are surrounding you or just enjoying being by yep. yourself and, and communing with nature and literally just squeezing every drop. Yes. Right. You yes. know, what came to my mind is because mm -hmm. I, I tend to, I love lemons, right? So I'll make lemon juice and sometimes I'll have a seltzer and I'll put a piece of lemon and I have it in my tea. Mm -hmm. But sometimes if I, I, I might buy two bags of lemons, right. And, and if I forget to give it away, it will sit in my refrigerator and then they begin to rot. They don't, right. they're, they're not used. Right. But versus having, you know, a fresh lemon where I'm literally squeezing every last drop there's not one not one piece of pulp not one piece of drop that's the way we do life here mm -hmm. we're not just sitting in a draw rotting away mm -hmm. we are actually squeezing every last drop every last every last bit of that lemon because mm -hmm. that's where the good stuff is that's right that's right that's because i can guarantee you yep, i can guarantee mm -hmm. you that you know if you look around you know around your town or you look around you know the people you hang out with a, a majority of them will will be just surviving versus mm -hmm. thriving just yeah. barely making it by now again mm -hmm. that's, there's no judgment if that's the way they choose to live life then that, that's the way they choose to live life but if you are listening to this i have a hunch that that's not the way you choose to live life that we we want to extract everything and you're doing a fantastic job so congratulations congratulations thank you thank you and i also just before we close want to put it out there that a lot of what you're getting to harvest right now renee right all of these good and beautiful things are a direct result of your decision to work on yourself and to help yourself and make different choices and show up in a different way bring different energy yes. your harvest as is a result of your farming right right something to be very proud of keep planting more crops that's it plant more that's <laughs> it that's it and sometimes we plant bumper crops because we know it there may be a storm coming so we plant yes. the bumper crop but we always have the crop right. we keep planting we keep moving and we keep going so awesome thank you so much for for coming and joining us and thank you for having me love to our DJ sisters and be with me here a second before we close and then i'll see you guys on the other side bye <laughs>